Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the classification of ordinary and partial differential equations. Let's consider a differential equation A differential equation is a function of the independent variable x, the dependent variable y, the derivative of the dependent variable with respect to x, and as many derivatives as you want set equal to zero. The order of this differential equation is the highest derivative you see. So in this example over here, the order of this general case will be n, since n is the highest derivative I see. It will be linear in all derivatives. If f is a linear function in y, y prime, and the nth derivative of y. So if this function f is linear in any of the variables, we'll say the expression is a linear differential equation. So let's look at some examples. y triple prime plus 2y double prime plus 2xy prime plus y equals 0 is a third order differential equation since the highest number of derivatives we see is 3. And it will be a linear expression in y y prime, y double prime, and y triple prime. Because all the coefficients of y, y prime, y double prime, y triple prime are just functions of x. Let's take a look at another example. The square root of y double prime plus 2xy is equal to the sine of y plus y prime. Again, this is a differential equation. It's an expression, an equation that involves the function y, the independent variable x, and the derivatives of the function. This will be a second order equation since the highest number of derivatives I see is 2. This is my highest number of derivatives. But this expression is nonlinear. The sine is a nonlinear function, so the y plus y prime inside the sine is a nonlinear expression. And I have a y double prime plus 2xy under a square root. The square root is not, is not linear, so this is not linear. And the reason is that the square root and sine functions are not linear functions. Let's see yet another example. Let's consider partial u partial x minus partial u partial y equals u, where here u is a function of two variables, x and y. Now as opposed to being an ordinary differential equation, we will say that this is a partial differential equation. And this partial differential equation is of order 1. The reason is that I only have a single partial derivative of u with respect to x and a single partial derivative of u with respect to y. So if I had another expression, for example, if we had this expression partial squared u partial x squared plus partial squared u partial y squared equals zero. Again, this would be a partial differential equation, or PDE. And the order of this PDE, two. Since the highest number of partial derivatives we see in this problem is two.
And from the context of the problem, we'll see if the equation is either a partial differential equation or ordinary differential equation simply by looking for partial derivative symbols. The other way to examine these problems is to say, well, if I see a high ordered number of derivatives, that will typically be an indication that it's an ordinary differential equation of a high order. So to find the order of a differential equation, we simply seek out and find the highest order of derivative there is, and that will be the order. The question of linearity of differential equations is more subtle. Typically, if there are functions like sines or square roots or other nonlinear functions, it's easy to identify as nonlinear. And if they are linear combinations of the derivatives of y with coefficients that only depend on the independent variable x, then they'll be linear differential equations. Thank you very much.